Hey guys, this is Callan LLF with another episode of Mock Talks, and today I'm talking about Ganon, the self-mock of IDS 561, and uh, my Matoran version of him. Uh, I'm doing this one on the main channel, particularly because uh, it's IDS 561's birthday today, and I wanted to celebrate with a Mock Talks, especially honoring him and his channel. And yeah, you guys should all go and subscribe because it's really good and uh, he's not making as many videos lately, but he's uh, but he's working really hard on one in particular. And if you haven't heard of his channel before, I'm sure you'll like a lot of his uh, videos with called the Odapex and Pals, which are much better than mine. And uh, even a lot of the older ones, I, a lot of my older videos I hate, but a lot of even a lot of the ones from 2012 even are really st still solid and they still hold up but uh let's let's uh talk a little bit first about this uh figure before i talk about my friendship uh this is actually my second uh attempt at making a mock of ganon the first was uh, a ridiculously different mock be using a key orange color scheme and the trans yellow cow cow and the only reason uh, i even made that mock and called it ganon is because I did not have the mask at this time, and I couldn't build a proper version of Ganon, and uh, and I decided to and he, uh, I'd shown him uh, I had the yellow cow cow, and he he thought it was cool, so I thought, hey, what do you think? Uh, little weird, my own weird version. And he's like, yeah, okay, cool. Uh, but eventually, I decided that that is ridiculously different. And when I did get a hold of this mask, I uh, built a proper self mock Matoran version based off of. His Toa-sized Ganon mock, which is so good. It's one of the best Toa-sized mocks ever. And uh, it's got the coolest picture uh, of it just standing there. And it's with uh, glowy eyes and everything. And it's posed great. And it's such so cool because it has such a nice smooth look. And combines pieces from Exoforce, Bionicle, and Hero Factory in such a smooth way. It looks so good. and uh, And so... I wanted to kind of do a version of that. I did not do execute it, uh, like, I did not try and strive to be exact. Uh, the color scheme is a bit different, though the colors are the, the color scheme itself is the same, the distribution is different. There's a lot more black on this one because, in general, it's a, a bit harder to do, uh, the, or at least especially with that kind of figure, it's hard to do that much orange. Uh, and or in preserve possibility, I could have given him orange hands here, but he wouldn't have the ball joint hands. Uh, and I don't know, I don't think it would have looked as good with this design. Uh, so yeah, his feet are black when they should have been orange Mata feet. His arms are black when they should have been orange. Uh, his chest is black when it should have been orange. It should have been an orange Exoforce piece. So yeah, some, some noticeable differences, but, uh, overall I'm pretty happy with this design. This, uh, this particular design of having a bow rock arm connect the shoulders, uh, was, uh, kind of David kind of, my brother David kind of came up with that with, uh, a little mock he threw together back in the day. I believe, uh, he was one of our Toa team named Psyken and he was kind of a smaller psychic type, psychic type like Pokemon. Heh, <laughs> no, psychic Toa. Uh, psionics toa whatever so that's kind of where I got that idea for the shoulder connection from and I really like it because though it's not um, as poseable as your standard ball joint connection you still get a lot of range of motion and, uh, and a lot of character out of uh, out of the build and that's why I like it so much and I hope uh, I hope IDS does too so uh, let's talk about uh, my history with them a bit uh, I first started hanging out with uh, IDS, or at least interacting, when uh, he started commenting on my videos way back in the day. Uh, and uh, he was pretty impositive at the time, despite how uh, terrible they were. Uh, and uh, I was really happy that he was commenting because I was, uh, because uh, I was, uh, uh, I'd seen his videos, sorry, I'm losing my brain. Uh, I'd seen his videos and I really liked them, and uh, eventually, since we both voiced on Misguided, we I started talking with uh, Jacomics98 and uh, IDS, and yeah, so the three of us talked, and then eventually we got Larnu in there, and uh, the four of us have kind of stuck together ever since. Sometimes we've talked with other people as a group, but uh, for the most part, it's just been the four of us, and, uh, and I'd say we're kind of an unbreakable f uh, four, 
the quadruplets, uh, whatever. I don't know. Sorry, I'm being silly. Uh, but yeah, and uh, uh, it's funny too because we've had some we had some early collaborations uh, with a video pair uh, video called Party Dudes, which sort of made the wild, bizarre, blank world of uh, my old bio shorts videos connected to Onapex and Pals. I'm sure uh, IDS regrets that immensely, especially considering uh, Jube does make a cameo in uh, Onapex and Pals in one of the camera episodes, though I'm sure he's now retconned that to be Mushroom Man, an entirely different character. That's not Jube, guys. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I, I doubt you could say they're connected anymore because uh, tastes have changed and my videos uh, have aged poorly. But but hey, I still am. Uh, I'm, I'm happy you got to work with him as much as I did. He got me to voice Poxu and some misadventure shorts, and that was always fun. Uh, and uh, even though we don't uh, work as, together as much on videos these days, uh, I mean, I still occasionally get him to voice Anua, but but um, not as eager these days because. I feel like my uh, content isn't usually up, is up to par with uh, his standards of writing, but he's still pretty encouraging and critical and tries to help me out, and I, and I can always count on him. So uh, if there's anyone who deserves more subscribers than me in the Bionicle community, it's totally him, and I would seriously recommend you check out his channel right now if you haven't seen it already. Uh, so yeah, uh, best buds, I guess. I don't know. Uh, not really. He probably did. Let's like inch away. Uh, but any anyway, let's just uh, let's uh, talk a little bit about updates. So I am back at college now. That's why the setup's different, and I might not be animating so much. Though I'm gonna try to animate a few things. Uh, I'm also gonna try and get a job up here and uh, and keep up with classes. So things may slow down a bit. Uh, maybe not on the mock talk side. I've got a whole week of masters planned for this upcoming week, and they were pre-recorded at my house before I left. So I hope you enjoy those. Those will be on Calendar F2. So if you are not subscribed to Calendar F2 and you like this kind of format of me talking about mocks, you should go over there and subscribe and see more because there are a lot of video episodes of the official episodes already. And uh, and uh, if you, that this kind of thing you like, uh, you might like the other ones. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, uh, happy birthday to IDS, and I will see you guys tomorrow on Calendar F2, and hopefully very soon with more videos on this channel. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys. Bye.